In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, Almighty God, always go before us and follow after, so that we, who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son, may receive your help, both now and in the life to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Have a care for justice, act with integrity, for soon my salvation will come, and my integrity be manifest. Blessed is the man who does this, and the son of man who clings to it. Observing the Sabbath, not profaning it, and keeping his hand from every evil deed. Let no foreigner who has attached himself to the Lord say, The Lord will surely exclude me from his people. Let no eunuch say, And I, I am a dried up tree. Foreigners, who have attached themselves to the Lord to serve Him and to love His name and be His servants, all who observe the Sabbath, not profaning it, and cling to my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain. I will make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their holocausts and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house will be called a house of prayer for all the peoples. It is the Lord who speaks, who gathers the outcasts of Israel. There are others I will gather besides those already gathered. The Word of the Lord. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent messengers to John, and he gave his testimony to the truth. Not that I depend on human testimony. No, it is for your salvation that I speak of this. John was a lamp, a light and shining, and for a time you were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. The works my Father has given me to carry out, these same works of mine testify that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we hear of Jesus in this monologue. But what was happening was Jesus was 
subjected to our human ways and human conditions, Jesus was asked to provide witnesses to testify for him. But Jesus is saying, I don't need to do this. Jesus didn't need to do a lot of things. But yet, for our sake, he subjected himself to the messiness of our ways, of our will. As we can see in the whole of sacred scripture, from Genesis to Revelations, it is not so straightforward. It has always been a bit messy. And we can see that in the life of Jesus. From the moment of conception in Our Lady's womb, life for Jesus and Our Lady was messy. Not being able to find a place to give birth to Jesus. And when Jesus was born, they had to run around. Jesus was subjected to arguments, to exchange, to debates, and eventually his passion and death. So life on this earth, as much as it is beautiful and good and wonderful, it is also messy. And for you and me as well, life is messy. There is grief, there is death, there is sickness, there are quarrels, there are fights, there are hurts, there are wounds. But what Jesus has shown me is that he approached the messiness of life with love, with compassion, with mercy, with justice. And so for people like you and me who desire to follow in the footprints of Jesus Christ, who want to conform ourselves to Jesus, as we approach the messiness of life, let us do it with compassion, with mercy, with justice and love. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 